everyone. Today we're replacing struts and upper ball joints on this E350 Mercedes. So we're going to start by removing these 13 millimeter nuts. Uh, you can be three on each side of course. And what I want you to do here is leave the one nearest the fender just leave it on there hand tight that'll be the one of the last things you'll be removing which I'll show you right here so this one here you're just gonna undo it and then just put it on their finger tight that's just so it holds the strut in place when you're getting ready to remove it now go ahead and unplug your uh, electrical connectors to give it a little extra space uh, so when you pull back on the uh, steering knuckle it'll have a clearance for it get a 16 millimeter socket here and take the upper ball joint nut off get your ball joint separator tool and break this loose it's just a good idea to replace these upper ball joints while you're doing this because you are going to be uh, disconnecting it anyways and another thing that happens especially with this tool sometimes it buggers up those threads uh, because it puts a lot of force on it so it's just a good idea and they're not that expensive so it's good practice now position the uh, upper control arm Bring it down I'm using a little pry bar here and uh, put a rag on where it rides against the lip of the fender well there so it doesn't scratch the paint and then go ahead and remove the uh, bolts for the uh, ball joint there's three bolts with nuts Now go ahead and uh, get yourself a breaker bar with a 21 millimeter socket and this nut is on there pretty tight so um, I recommend using a cheetah pipe to make it easier for you and then uh, go ahead and uh, remove the nut and the bolt if you can it's not a big deal if you can't get the bolt out you'll be able to get that out later uh, as you uh, go to remove the uh, strut itself it'll get easier to remove now go ahead and remove that last nut that's on top holding the strut and once you do this uh, you'll be able to remove that bolt off the bottom the struts completely loose, loose now there's the bolt piece of cake now go ahead and kind of push down on a lower control arm so you can disconnect the uh, strut from the arm on the bottom there and you should be able to work it out now on your new strut here pay particular attention to the top of it you'll see that one end is thicker than the other the thicker end goes to the rear of the vehicle and then just line it up and put a, a nut on the top to hold it just do it finger tight now go ahead and install your bolt on the bottom now this bolt here if you find that the strut doesn't line up uh, to get the bolt through you can use some channel locks and kind of twist the uh, strut side to side so you can get it to work in there and go ahead and uh, just hand tighten the nut for now
Now position the upper control arm the same way you had it before so you can install your wall joint. Now depending on where you buy your uh, ball joints from, um, I don't know if they come with bolts. So here's the brand new one, upper ball joint. And this one does come with the new hardware. If you have to reuse yours, make sure you put Loctite on these. As you can see, these have uh, Loctite on them. Now go ahead and install the uh, upper ball joint and put the hardware on. And I couldn't find the torque specs for this so just tighten it up nice and tight. Now I'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, upper control arm to the steering knuckle and just pull down on the arm and line up the stud. Keep uh, tension on it and you'll be able to uh, hand tighten the, the nut. Now if you find that it, uh, when you go to tighten this it spins on you, you can use a little Allen, I think it's a four, mil four millimeter to help hold the uh, stud and you could turn it with a wrench by hand. I was able to get it here with my little air ratchet and then torque it and then you're going to do like 90 degrees additional torque to it. I get a felt pen and mark the nut and a reference point and like I said, you're going to turn it an additional 90 degrees. Now I'll go ahead and tighten the uh, lower bolt and nut. Just go as tight as you can on this. It's not really that critical. Now go ahead and install your wheels and torque them down to spec. And you're just about done. So you do the same on both sides. It's pretty much rinse and repeat. Um, so this pretty much should wrap this video up here. The only thing left is on the top. You're going to tighten your uh, nuts for the struts once you get the wheels on. And that pretty much is a wrap. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post a comment, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and good luck, everyone.